Hey guys, I've been meaning to do this video for a while now. We are currently staying with some family members while our house is being sold and our little ones are staying in their play pens. My two-year-old has been climbing out of her bed since she was about one years old and I tried everything in my power to keep her in her bed. We started looking on Amazon and saw that they had like a mini tent to put in the playpen or you can also put it in a crib. We finally moved forward and made the purchase. We were kind of hesitant because it was like $60 and we're like, is this even gonna work? Um, but we, we eventually purchased it and it worked amazing. We ended up buying a second one for our other daughter because we were worried that if they were sleeping in the same room, she would get out and like free our younger one. So we ended up getting two and just having two tents together. My two year old is a master climber and I'm not even kidding. She will climb anything she can get her hands on. And if you leave her alone for one second, she will find her way on top of counters, tabletops, any kind of nightstand or just like boxes, she'll start climbing it. But with the bed situation, it's really annoying because the second you close your eyes, she has her leg over and she's just trying to get out. I've had nights where I fall asleep and I wake up to like a small little human in the corner of the room and, and it's dark in the room, so it's terrifying. And the second I say her name, she crawls across the room as fast as she can and it has given me nightmares. So the tent really works and um, I'm going to show it to you right now. Alright, so this is what it looks like outside of the playpen. It's just wire and mesh. And there's a zipper opening on both sides. And the zipper is only on the outside. So they can't get it, but my oldest did figure out if she like pushes on the back of this metal piece, she can open it and close it. It has ties on the corner to tie to the playpen or the crib. They have different sizes. Um, and then you have your normal playpen. And it sits inside the playpen. So at first I thought it was just the top. And then the playpen was normal and she was going to get under it somehow. But the whole thing goes in there. Mine like to take the mat out from the bottom of the playpen and like fold it over and sit on like the lining and stuff. And it kind of ruins the bed. So when you have this, they can't get to that padding at all. And then the wires kind of fit into the corners on the bottom. And you have the ties that tied to the corner of the playpen. I'll kind of show you. So it took me a couple times to kind of figure out what way I liked best for the ties. And I came to putting one on each side of these little holes of the playpen and then just tying it together like this. And there's one on each corner and it helps a lot because she, like I said, with the tent, she likes to grab this and pull it down and it'll kind of like go on top of her and start to fold like how it's supposed to be when it's closed. But if you tie the corners, she can't pull on it. She's like on this new fix of taking her diaper off now. So I have had a couple instances where she takes off her diaper and she has poop and it's in there and I tend to just throw this in the shower and I'll use some laundry detergent and wash the bottom of it and then I'll rinse it in the shower and it's really easy and it dries really really fast which is nice because if you need it for like a nap time or anything oh she left her banana there <laughs> so that's my solution if you have a child that won't stop climbing and they're a little bit too young to start putting in a bed by themselves. I'm gonna link this in the description so you can find it super easy. And if you have any questions, let me know. Please like and subscribe. It's super helpful for me and easy for you. And we'd like to reach our goal of a thousand followers. Seems super small, but you can definitely help us in that venture.